If there's one thing we all hate when playing an online game, it's cheaters. These guys ruin the experience for the rest of us. Thankfully, we have the developers and other gamers on our side. Here are seven crazy ways cheaters got punished. The online role-playing game EverQuest 2 recently announced the idea of prison servers. People who cheat or use a glitch to their advantage will be exiled to a prison server. In this online jail, cheaters can cheat all they want since they only play with other cheaters. We wonder if they also make prison wine and shank each other. The developers of Guild Wars 2 took things a bit personally when a cheater was clearly cheating by respawning all over the place. They took control of his character, undressed him and made him publicly commit suicide. They also deleted all his other characters and blocked his account. That's one way of setting an example. The criminal world of GTA Online is not safe for cheaters. Some gamers discovered how to import overpowered cars from the single player into the online world. When Rockstar Games discovered this, they made all the illegally imported cars blow up the moment a player would get in. For a while, the streets of GTA Online lit up like it was the 4th of July. When Gears of War 2 launched on Xbox 360, some gamers discovered a way to unlock all achievement points. This greatly enlarged their online bragging rights, but not for long. Microsoft found out, set their gamer score to zero and marked them cheater for life. Ouch. The developers of Titanfall have taken a similar stance to EverQuest 2. Everybody who cheats will be banned to a special server. Here cheaters can fight each other with their auto-aim bots and wall hacks enabled. Have fun cheating against other cheaters, suckers! Valve has been very smart with its anti-cheat policy. Dedicated gamers from the Counter-Strike Global Offensive community can get the Overwatch status, which allows them to point out cheaters. This way, Counter-Strike is one of the first to have its in-game policies managed by gamers themselves, and it works pretty well, according to the community. And of course, there are plenty of examples where gamers took matters into their own hands. In games like GTA Online and DayZ, gamers have been forming vigilante groups to take down cheaters. This includes making their online lives as miserable as possible and publicly shaming them on YouTube. How often do you run into cheaters? And what do you do about it? Share your stories in the comments below. The Superstar is looking great here at the top of the first. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. And another knee. And there's the face buster. Oh, no, another... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Check out Zoom In TV games for all sorts of cool game videos. We do top fives, and we aren't afraid to get a little naughty. We also have a wide variety of hosts who are always up for a laugh. Come on, Tim. Come on. So drop by and check out Zoom In TV games. Yeah, 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 can do it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. I don't know what that was.